Hey Gemini, welcome to my channel. My name is Levi and this is your weekly tarot reading. It's a timeless reading, so anytime you watch this video, this is for the following seven days. Only take what resonates with you and leave the rest. And if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below. And with that, let's get to it. So, dear Gemini, you come up in the middle as the Queen of Swords. So, you are in a place in your life right now that decisions have to be made, you have to be very precise, you have to look at holistically everything that you are doing with your life. It doesn't matter if it's a king or a queen, it's all about energy, right? So it doesn't matter if it's a king, queen of wands or king of wands. So you are sitting in this place right now, looking at your life holistically, intellectually, and be very precise. Which direction you want to take, where you want to go, what's important for you in life, and how you want to take the next level. It's very strong feminine energy, by the way, because it's a lot of nurturing, a lot of caring, a lot of dealing with your, with your own self comes into play. But you need to have a very strong head on your neck. So be able to precisely um, be analytical as well as be strategic. Knowing with the Empress here that you are on the right path. You are very fertile. Again, fertile money, uh, money energy, health, wealth, abundance. This is what I'm talking about. So you have potential. You have the potential. You're going through this transformation that you are increasing your circle. You are, you are pushing your boundaries to have more, to be more, to get more in the future. So now when you see like, okay, so I think I'm in the right direction. What's next? And this is where it comes through. Now you have to make a decision based on logic, based on looking at the past. Okay, so this went really well up to now. So now I have to design my next three months, six months. What is the best based on the previous results? And I know if I'm going to go through that way and doing this and not doing that, having this but not having that, time, energy, effort going to take me into this abundant phase where the sun is shining, I feel like I'm invincible, everything is coming my way, I'm happy, I'm joyful, I'm healthy, I'm wealthy, um, and I have everything I want. So you are going through this transformation. You started the work in the past, now in the present, you just need that little edge and you're going to take everything into the future and elevate. So the best card in the tarot, one of the best cards, is the sun. The sun shines on everything and everybody. When the sun shines, you have positive attitude, you, you know your crops will grow, you, you have sunshine, you can relax, you, can, you, you have a better understanding, a better mood, and there are no hidden um, agendas, no secrets, because, because it's only like shadows, but not like a night. You decided to put your pentacles into the soil. Start investing in your life. Start invest, investing in yourself, in yourself, in the past. So don't, don't let present result. So as an example, you, you invested or you planted the seed last uh, autumn. Now it's winter and you become um, impatient. Why there is no harvest yet? Why there is no fruits on the on the trees or on the plants? Or why there is why can I do that? I want to do the harvest now. Well, you have to know clearly in your mind that the harvest comes in summer and spring, or maybe in in in, uh, in um, um, autumn, but it doesn't come in the winter. So if you fool yourself, or anybody try to fool you and tell you that. You must do the harvest because if there is no harvest, then all your hard work is, is lost. Do the harvest now. No, there is no time for it now. So you invested in the time. 
And if you scared, that is not gonna be a harvest. If you scared, you're not gonna get the reward. If you scared, you're not gonna get anything out of it. But right now, it's not the right time. You cannot do the harvest in January for what you planted last year. You should know that in your mind. So don't expect that. Wait until the summer. Wait until the sun is shining and everything is growing. The crops are like nicely going up. This is where you're gonna feel much more positive. This is where you're gonna feel like perfect timing. Of course, there is some scarcity mindset. Of course, there is always some fears and phobias. Oh, what if it's not gonna happen? What if this happens? What if that happens? Don't let that fool you. That's why you need to be very precise with your thinking. That's why you have to be very clear. Look at this person here above the clouds. His eyesight is not clouded. He can make a conscious, clear decision based on what he or she wants, which direction he wants to take. He's above the clouds. So raise your awareness above the clouds because in the clouds, there is nothing you can see. I know these are cliches, but they are so simple. And that's why the images of the tarot is so simple. It talks to you in a language that everybody understands. Pictures. You must have you might have to juggle a little bit longer. Use your creativity to get by until the harvest comes again. You see the emotional turmoil, the waves behind this person, upside down, things are going upside going up and then going down. <coughs> Don't let anything fool you. Maybe you look outside and say, yeah, but it's, you know, there are no leaves and trees and it's all winter and my winter might gonna last forever. Did that ever happen? That you remember? I don't, probably you don't either. So it's always a summer, it's always a spring, and then there will be always another winter. Doesn't matter what you do. So raise yourself above those clouds. And anything, any um, uh, complaints or any blames or any even self, self doubt, raise above that. Do the challenges, do what needs to be done, all the obstacles, sort them out and keep yourself going. Keep yourself um, on the right track. Do not let anything and anyone drag you down and say, well, you see, there is nothing out there, so you just better give up. Tame that lion inside you, they're trying to hold you back, they're trying to tell you something that is not, not supporting you. Create friendship, create relationship, create connections with those who want to be part of your journey, genuinely. Those who look at you and say, wow, you know, I think you are kind of my kind of person. I want to I wanna hear about you, I want to know about you, I want to connect you, I want to join you, I want to be your friend, your uh, business partner, your relationship, whatever. Find those people who genuinely come your way. And leave those who are not supporting you. You don't need to rush, you don't need to force yourself. Is the bear in the in a, uh, who have, uh, hibernates? Is he impatient? No, he goes to the cave, sleeps, and then wakes up when when it's time. And if you poke the bear to wake up early, he's gonna be really mad. So imagine this situation right now. You are in. Why you wanna poke that bear in you or in in, in around you? Be patient. Wait until the right. Wait until the time is right. Have the blissful sleep. Have a rest. Nothing's happening around you. Good. Read a book. Nothing is happening in, in around you. Good. Have a good night's sleep. Nothing is happening around you. Good. Go and have a yoga class and just chill. Go with the flow. Why are you in a force? It's like surfing. There are no waves. So what the, what the hell you want to do? Yeah, but I want to do surfing. I want wind. Okay. Good luck. So remain positive. Remain strong, but remain in a position where you are the ruler. You are the one who's making the decisions. You are the one who is calling the shot. Because if you let other things, external things, people outside influence you, 
even though you are in a pretty strong position. Now we have the Empress and the Emperor together. That could easily indicate someone coming to your life who could be your soulmate or someone who is like really, really connected with you out of the blue or out of sudden. It's just like, wow, I had never met anyone like that. Maybe now it's time to focus on your emotions a little bit. Maybe it's time to focus on your relationship a little bit. And maybe it's time to open up yourself because you've done the work, but the result comes later. So why not spend your winter focusing on matters of the heart, matters of the soul, matters of emotions, not being worried about, yes, but what if he or she breaks my heart? What if he or she will cheat on me? You cannot control another person. You can only control yourself. But if you know your values, if you know your values, then, then you know anything happens with you, it will be just fine. But if you think that something else externally must come and change and uh, make something, then you are not solid, you are not independent. So don't be afraid to let your emotions running higher than usual. And don't be afraid of disappointment. May not be the next one is the one, but might take you closer to the one. It might not be the next one who is going to give you everything in life, but might take you closer to, do, to that one. Every no is taking you closer to the yes. It's not my wisdom. I learned it. Trust yourself. Have faith in yourself and in the situation in your life. Because if you don't have faith, nobody will trust you. Nobody will follow you. Nobody will like you because you are not... Um, you, are not, you don't have integrity. If you have integrity, people are going to come your way. They want to join you. They, as I said earlier, they want to come be part of your story. But if you are flaky, if you are dishonest, if you have, nobody wants to join you. Only those people who are flaky and are dishonest and, and uh, crooks. Be patient, because your time comes. You decided to spin that wheel, the wheel of fortune. And it keeps spinning now. And while it's spinning, you can't be anxious about, yeah, when is it going to stop? I want it to stop now and give me my reward. The universe doesn't work that way. You spin that wheel, the wheel is still spinning. Your best choice is to be positive and hope for the best. And while it's spinning, you keep hoping, you keep thinking, you keep imagining, you keep visioning what's the best scenario. When the wheel stops, that's my reward. And what your reward will be? Well, it depends on how you dealing with your life right now while the wheel is still spinning. If you feel bad about it, if you feel disappointed already, don't even know the result, then that's what you're going to get. If your vibration is high, if your frequency is high and say, you know what? I'm going to get the best of the best because I deserve the best of the best. And there's no question. I am the best of the best. So I res I, I'm going to have the reward. This is the way looking into it. So there, Gemini, let me know how does this feel so far. Does this resonate with you at all? Please leave a comment in the comment box. Yes, no, maybe, or just say it's all nonsense. So now let me give you a couple of cards from the Sacred Destiny Oracle. So what's the message? Dear Gemini, there is a potential. There, is a, there are miracles and there is protection. So, you, so the potential is there. The, this, this, the Empress talks about potential, talks about fertility, talks about possibility, talks about everything that could happen positively. 
but you need to trust the universe. You need to trust in miracles that certain things not going to happen because you're going to make it happen or somebody is going to make it happen. Things going to happen because universe rewarding you for your efforts, positive or negative. And then we have protection here. Look at the tree. Does it look very solid? The only security you have, the only protection you need is from the universe and by the universe. Nothing externally going to make you positive. Nothing externally going to make you secure. Nothing outside could make you protected, confident, happy, joyful. It's all come from inside. The universe only reflects what you feel. And this is back to the wheel of fortune, I said. If you if you negative about your life, if you neg negative about the situation, then this is what the wheel of fortune you're going to get from outside for you. You're going to get your mirror. We always get our mirror. You wake up in the morning, the first thing you do, look into a mirror. You see positive or you see negative. You see happy or you see sad. Right. Now, let me give you a card from the Romantic Oracle. Trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. Don't fight. That's what I said about the harvest. Don't fight the current situations. Don't fight about the current affairs of the world. Physical, mental, emotional, whatever is that. Because accepting the situation, accepting that, you know, I can't do anything with the gas prices. I have to accept the fact I don't have a choice. I have to pay my bills. I can't egg, uh, end world hunger by myself. I accept it. What can I do? Focusing on myself. Make sure I don't get into that situation. Make sure I don't get into these problems. This is the only thing I can do. And if I make it successful, then it's enough for me. Okay, so let's see what let's see what's the fairies. There is beauty in you. Focus on what you have. Again, it's all internal. Look at this beautiful card. This is you. And nobody can tell you otherwise. Nobody can come to you and say, oh, well, your hair, your eyes, your uh, whatever. Oh, yeah, you are not intelligent enough. Oh, you're not smart. Oh, you're not rich enough. Oh, you're not small enough, not tall enough. Not Who cares? The beauty comes from inside. If you feel beautiful, be like, if you feel that you are what you are and that's just enough for you and more than enough if necessary and everything else externally is unimportant this is what this card talks about you are more than fine and anyone who don't like that can do a running jump is simple life is simple as that if anything or anyone requires you to be something else, to pretend to be something else, to change yourself, to, to do whatever uh, uh, artificial transformation, you can measure them the running jump. But it's all uh, internal. If you feel the need, you have to change something. <clears throat> change your hair, change your whatever, clothes, change your then it means you are not enough for yourself. Let me know how does this resonate with you. Please leave a comment below. Okay, and now finally, the moon card is next. Emotions are running high. So yeah, you are in a situation now, now that they can fool you. You are very close to achieving your goal. And the last one, Look at the bigger picture. So when the tension is really high, you must look at the bigger picture. So my, my emotions running high 
is this serving me at all or serving somebody else back to the back to the example about the gas prices or about the i don't know the the food uh, prices or a, or a world hunger my emotions running high because when i look at the news when i watch the headlines my blood pressure pumps is this really serving me and by doing that with me is it really sorting the situation out am i really helping the situation by giving my attention giving my blood pressure rise or is counterproductive and actually i'm killing myself causing health issues for myself because i just read the headlines this is a good question for you and if you have to withdraw yourself and your attention from the news from the world issues from the whatever is that conversations about politics and whatever it is maybe this is time for you to withdraw yourself and if somebody try to draw you into some conversation you don't want to be part of you just say i'm not interested thank you very much so with that dear gemini i wish you a fantastic week ahead thank you for watching please leave a comment below like my video and share it with others that could be helpful um i really appreciate that and with that have an awesome week thank you thank you guys for watching my videos um please check out the links below in the description box you can get some nice little uh jewelries from the onyx heaven it's a it's a small family shop so every support is uh, appreciated thank you